Hello everybody, my name is Periwinkle, and today I'm back here with another sketchbook update. Um, I haven't done this since September, I think, and yeah, it's a long time ago, and I know I was going to do one month by month, but I just didn't get inspired there for a while, but ever since then I think I have done a bit in the sketchbook, so yeah, we're going to go ahead and jump right in. So I left off where we see the undertow. Um, it's a piece with Baby Dory in it. Uh, let me flip to it. Baby Dory. Baby Dory. Where, where, where Baby Dory at? Okay. So, we'll just refresh memory. Here's We See the Undertow. So the next piece is a piece I was just kind of hadn't drawn anything for a while, so it's kind of like, um, I need to draw something. <laughs> like, that's basically what I said. I was like, huh, I need to draw something. And I was just sitting in my, um, what's class? Um, my history class, and I just started sketching stuff. So what I ended up sketching was a phone. Um, it was my phone at the time, now I have a different phone. But I sketched my phone, a pen, and this paper at the top that says live, and I titled it on the student's desk. I traced this out and then drew everything on the inside. It's honestly, I really like this piece, it's really nice, and it's called on the student's desk. The next one I have is this, I'm not too fond of it, but it's a girl with wings and it says be extraordinary. I've never been one to draw faces, so I think it was pretty good for that time. Um, she has a little flower in her hair and she has the ombre hair, which I used to have. <laughs> and she's just in a gray sweatshirt and it says, it's titled Girl with Wings and I actually colored it in, which is like, wow. I use colored pencil for once in my life? Wow. <laughs> Next one is a piece that I kind of you know, went a bit out of my box. Usually I like to just look something up on the internet and start sketching it, but this time I decided to go a bit out of my box. Like, I've, I've said that a thousand times. <laughs> but I decided to interpret things a little more. And it, this is from Lilo and Stitch. As you can tell, I'm a big Disney fan. But it's called Scrump's Little Dance. And here we have Scrump, aka Lilo's doll in Lilo and Stitch. And she is in Lilo's hula gear. And here we have the picnic basket, which Lilo carries around with her peanut butter sandwiches in it. Um, and peeking out from it is Stitch and Lilo as um, like dolls that look like Scrump, kind of like rag dolls. So just them two picking out, and then Scrump, of course, and Lilo's um, hula gear. And it's called Scrump's Little Dance, and I haven't colored it in. Next one is just, um, I did not draw this one. My friend Brianna drew it. I just thought I should show it. It's a simple flower sketch. It's really pretty. Next one, you guys cannot judge me. Um, I haven't taken it out just because, you know, I'd like to look back on it and think, wow, I've come a little, I've come far. <laughs> but this is my first ever acrylic painting. Yikes. <laughs> it looks nasty, the wine glass. Ugh. It just looks really bad. Here's an apple, here's a pear, here's a wine glass. I was trying to practice for my art competition. I have another one coming up in June, and I'm really freaking out about it. But I'll be okay. <laughs> I'll be okay. But it's a wine glass. Um a pear and an apple. I tried my best, and yeah. And it's called First Acrylic Band. The next one, uh, I've, on this day I got really inspired for this, so the next four I just like drew all on the same day. So yeah, don't judge me. <laughs> but this one is called Day 29 because I drew it while in health class and we were watching a movie called Contagion, and just as I was thinking what to name it, the thing on the screen came up Day 29. I was like, that sounds like a cool, edgy name that no one will know the story behind, and I'll just say, it's up to artist interpretation, but really, it's just something I saw, and I was like, hey, cool, but it is a simple flower, um, it's just a little flower, um, not really a lot to describe, but yeah, and yeah, the next one I is a pin sketch, which means I didn't erase, so I'm kind of proud, and it is of a dragon. Which is honestly, I'm like, wow, I'm kind of impressed with myself. As you can see, there's horns, there's scales. I kind of made it a menacing dragon. I didn't fill in the eye. I don't know. I'm really impressed with myself. Like, good job, Perry. And I called it Dragon Sketch. The next one is kind of like, um, I was in my history class. And we were watching, and we were learning about, like, terrorism and stuff like that. I feel like... A dog dying or something <laughs> like something's going on outside but and this one's really light so you probably can't see it but it's a girl in a dress with a braid and she's staring out and looking at the twin towers and behind her it says never forget and then yeah 
I really like the girl. She's pretty. Okay, the next one. I don't know how it happened, but I like it. It is of a Basset Hound. And, oh, the last sketch was called Remembrance, by the way. And it's of a Basset Hound, and it is so cute. I'm obsessed with it. It's so cute. Um, I ha My dog used to look like this, and now she's old and fat. And I just called it Basset Hound. Really cute. So the next one I asked what Madison wanted to draw, and again, this was on the same day where I just did the four previous sketches, and she was like, okay, draw me a dress. I said, uh, excuse me? <laughs> I was like, um, a dress, okay. So I drew her this dress. As you can see, um, it her the hair's up in a bun, and it has a flower crown going around it. And this is for Snowball, so I was thinking like white flowers. And then there's lace here, there's a um, little shoulder, it's off the shoulder. And then there's a ribbon going around that, and then there's a ribbon around the waist, and then the dress is very drapey and flowy. And I don't know, I think it's kind of pretty. I really like what I did with the hair there. And at this point, I wasn't confident in drawing faces. Now, the next one I'm not too proud of, but yeah, the last one was called Madison's Dress, in case you guys wanted to know. Next one I'm not too proud of, but it is a face sketch. Um, kind of just happened. Um, I was just sitting up in my bed, and I was like, huh, I should draw a face. So it's a girl with a half-up do. Um, I don't like the bun half-up do's, because only certain people can rock it. But with this one, I decided to go with uh, the regular. And I made her lips very pouty, and she's kind of just looking off in the distance. That's funny how the last one didn't have a face, and this one's just like full face. But, yeah. And this one I titled To Speak or Not to Speak. Okay, this is the last pencil sketch. I do have another painting after this one. And it is just, I was at Mr. Moore's, and which is the history teacher, and I just looked and I saw this. And it is a desk and a window, and outside is a football field. It's basically a play-by-play uh, -play of outside one of my teacher's windows and history class. And it's really cool. I like it. And then the next one, okay, so before I get to the next one, I did draw a watercolor slash acrylic. I did both mediums. An album cover for a band known as a Chaotic Harmony. It's called Twisted Roads. I did a video on it, so you guys, if you want to go see it, watch it. It's on my channel. It's a speed drawing. It's really nice, but I did color it in and I didn't show you guys, and I don't really have a picture of it. But yeah. So the next one I actually did today, because I'm going, as I said, I'm going to a national art competition and I need to practice. Just got updated like five times. Oh my gosh. But, yeah. So the next one is, um, haven't named it yet, I think I'm going to call it Recyclable. And it's based off a flower vase, which is in the other room. I would go get it just so you guys, like, could see it, but... Yeah, it's in the other room, but it's called Recyclable, and it is a lemonade jar with flowers coming out of it, and it's kind of like a metaphor for a bunch of people, how they think they're at the bottom, but even you can do something beautiful, even trash can make something beautiful, and I don't know, I really kind of like it, I can't decide, the flowers don't look the best, but I'm kind of deciding, but I did that today. Next time I do a sketchbook update, yeah, there's going to be a lot more of those paintings. <laughs> anyway, guys, hope you all enjoyed the sketchbook update, and yeah, see y'all later. Bye!